Can you believe it's been 20 years of Kingdom Hearts? Me neither, and yet here we are, with developer Square Enix using the anniversary to announce that Kingdom Hearts 4 is in the works. The series has taken us all over the Disney, Pixar, Final Fantasy verse over the years, but here are seven worlds that we'd love to visit that aren't Agrabah or Olympus Coliseum. Okay, that isn't Agrabah. Okay, this one's kind of cheating because in the Kingdom Hearts 4 trailer, we see what looks like Endor and maybe, just maybe, the foot of an ATST. <laughs> but regardless, it's about bloody time that Star Wars and Kingdom Hearts finally joined forces. While we didn't see any Jedi action in Kingdom Hearts 3 due to contract complications, Disney has now owned Lucasfilm for a few years, so hopefully we'll get to see those worlds collide. Imagine running around Endor with Sora, Donald, and Goofy dressed as Jedi, complete with the soft John Williams score in the background, and of course, a Keyblade lightsaber to top it all off. Whether it's taking out waves of Imperial troops on the ground, racing speeders through the lush forests, hanging out with Ewoks, or even taking the battle to space, Star Wars opens up a lot of options for gameplay. Just. If we're going to space, maybe have someone else steer the ship. I'm not sure I could do a whole gummy ship segment while the fate of the galaxy is in my hands. Kingdom Hearts has been edging towards looking a little more... Real doesn't seem like the right word to use, but much less cartoony. I mean, just take a look at Sora in that Kingdom Hearts 4 trailer. RIP to those giant clown shoes, but I digress. They've also experimented with the more real looking worlds with Pirates of the Caribbean in 2 and 3, so it could be time for the MCU to join forces with Kingdom Hearts. Honestly, Marvel movies could make up this entire list, but I'm just gonna keep it short. This could be the perfect time to have Sora and the gang team up with more heroes. So there are two worlds I'd like to pitch, New York and Space. For New York, I think it would have to be New York from the 2012 movie The Avengers. It means that you don't have to worry about time travel or trying to find a role for the multitude of superheroes that make up the MCU. It's a relatively straightforward story, a small team, and a big threat to overcome. Plus, the final battle of New York really just writes itself, as does the emotional moment with Iron Man. Plus, I can already see Sora fitting in with that spinning hero shot that they do. It just, it just works. And for space, I'm thinking of a pure Guardians of the Galaxy romp. I just think their team dynamic would really work with Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Come on, like Rocket and Donald being curmudgeons together while Goofy and Groot become best friends? Quill lending Sora his jet boot attachment thingies so he can fly in the air while fighting? Make it so. Make it so. Technically cheating because Nice Land, aka the world where Wreck-It Ralph is set, has already been in a Kingdom Hearts game, but it was Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, which I don't know about you, I did not play. Ralph has also appeared in Kingdom Hearts 3 as a summon with his excellent 8-bit blast, which was so fun that he deserves another shot at the spotlight in 3D Kingdom Hearts games. So I'm proposing that the arcade from Wreck-It Ralph is a world for Kingdom Hearts 4, meaning you can visit Felix and Ralph in Fix-It Felix Jr., Sergeant Calhoun in the light gun game Hero's Duty, as well as get behind the wheel in Sugar Rush with Vanellope Von Schweetz. The arcade would also offer the opportunity for some pretty fun meta-commentary on a game within a game within a game? How deep does this rabbit hole go? Springfield, Springfield, it's a hell of a town and crucially one that Disney owns now. I bet you didn't think I would delve into Fox properties for this video, but here I am, pitching Springfield from The Simpsons as a world for Kingdom Hearts 4. Not only is The Simpsons, seasons 2 through 9 at least, one of the most beloved shows of all time, but Springfield is an immediately recognizable setting, full of locations that would be a hell of a lot of fun to smack some Heartless with a big key in. Whether it's Organization 13 messing around at the power plant or nobody's being bothersome at Springfield Elementary, I would love to visit it in Kingdom Hearts. The other part of me absolutely wanted to pitch Futurama, especially as it's coming back on Hulu, and Nomura-san, I just want you to know that I am also open to that. I'm not even sure what you would call this world. Ocean? Great Barrier Reef? Sydney? Either way, it's time to bring back underwater levels, baby. Okay, I know, this is an unpopular opinion, but it's just an option, just in case they need an underwater level for Kingdom Hearts 4 and didn't want to do Atlantica again, 
which, let's be real, Atlantica has been done, and it's never been the most interesting level. I picked Finding Nemo because I can already see the gang hunting for Nemo as the core mission to follow, coming up against the sharks and riding Crush the Sea Turtle across the EAC. Basically, the only reason I really want this is because the Atlantica forms of Donald and Goofy are my favorites across all the games, and I just want them back. Okay, so Inside Out may have crushed me emotionally, however, I think it's such a cool concept for a movie, and one that would absolutely translate well to the Goofy, no pun intended, world of Kingdom Hearts. Plus, it would give a pretty nice avenue for that Kingdom Hearts melodrama we all know and love. It's already very easy to see how the character dynamic would work, as Donald is pretty much anger incarnate at the best of times, but I think where Inside Out World would really shine is through exploring the concept of memories. Throughout Kingdom Hearts, multiple characters have lost memories of the events of the games, and it would be really interesting to see them grapple with how memory is handled in Inside Out. Kingdom Hearts to me has always been a weird marriage between Final Fantasy and Disney characters, and so for there to be no Final Fantasy in Kingdom Hearts 3 was… weird. For many people, Kingdom Hearts was the gateway to getting into Final Fantasy, so I propose… put it back. Square Enix has seen a huge success with Final Fantasy XIV and there's the upcoming XVI, but why not put the characters and location of Final Fantasy VII Remake into Kingdom Hearts? VII Remake sure borrowed a lot from Kingdom Hearts in terms of how the game plays, and we've already met most of the characters like Cloud, Yuffie, Aerith, and of course Sephiroth in Kingdom Hearts already. I will say that if Sephiroth is coming back to Kingdom Hearts, he has to be voiced by Lance Bass. No! It can't be! Can you take the pain? Nani? With all this in mind, and the fact that Seven Remake Part 2 is coming out at some point, taking Sora and the gang to Midgar seems like an absolute no-brainer. And as a bonus, here are some quickfire, slightly more out-of-the-box suggestions. Turning Red Okay, so 2002 might not be the most interesting world to play around in, but I think this is a good option for a summon. It kind of goes without saying that a giant red panda might have more oomph on the battlefield than a sweet 13-year-old gal, but you never know with Mei, so I'd love her as a summon with two phases. Also, think of the sweet, sweet background music courtesy of Four Town. Would I love a Muppet world? Absolutely. Would Muppet Sora be exceedingly cute? Of course. Do I think it would happen? Probably not, but I would settle for some Muppet summons. Miss Piggy screaming, hi as she karate chops Heartless, Animal smacking Heartless across the face with drumsticks, Statler and Waldorf commenting on the absurdity, this writes itself. I don't know about you, but I miss the musical minigames from Atlantica in Kingdom Hearts 2, and I think they should come back. So why not a Disney Channel world? Hannah Montana, High School Musical, Camp Rock, come on, this is what dreams are made of. Okay, I need it on record that that was purely a goof and I do not miss those musical numbers at all. Swim this way? What was that about? But anyway, let me know which worlds you'd like to visit in Kingdom Hearts 4, and crucially, which ones you don't want to see come up again. Let me know in the comments below, or come find me on Twitter, I'm at LucyJamesGames. For more on Kingdom Hearts, keep it GameSpot.